hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are gonna be looking at yet another copa america make your mark player which is none other than timothy where you guys can see on the screen we are ready with the spc yes this is an spc which was released quite a while back now but i am just getting to it but hopefully you guys have got this card and are playing with it because i am curious how you guys are finding this card and we will also complete this SBC, look at all these details, stats and all that in detail and then put him in a squad at right mid or right wing position is he? yeah right wing or right mid position and then see how he is in game so yeah let's get into it right away you guys can see that 4 positions he can be played at right mid, right back, left back and right wing so you can play him he's a really good like these positions are actually startled me a little bit i'm gonna be honest these are some insane positions because he has 97 pace guys which is really good he has 92 dribbling he has 92 passing 90 shooting as well he pretty much has everything 90 except for physical which is 87 which is also not bad so we're gonna get this card um five star weak foot which is insane preferred foot right and four star skill move as well which is which is really really good now i am actually happy I'm really really happy that uh, this is high and uh, high defensive and uh, attacking player work rate which is insane and looking at the stats looking at the stats look at the pace yes 97 pace right 96 acceleration 98 swing speed which is insane shooting 94 short par yes 91 volleys even though his long shot only is 89 but once we put him in the team I'm pretty sure we can get some chemistry out of him so that might increase passing is really good he has good curve he has long a decent long pass not the best but it is decent 87 is not bad he has 92 crossing right mid right wing left back right back all these positions you should be able to have a good decent uh, crossing with him and uh, 97 short pass dribbling under dribbling he has 92 dribbling 91 ball control 97 agility so i don't know how many of you guys know how timothy has play style is is usually very rapid so even in the past uh, uh editions of fifa if you guys have played with him you guys will know that he's a very pacey person i thought he has actually got a striker card in one of the previous fifas not sure but yeah defending 97 heading accuracy 92 stand tackle 87 slide tackle 92 stamina 97 jumping so he's gonna have something with uh to do okay he has trivella that is not bad he has um quick step plus he has intercept plus he has whipped pla pa oh my god my tongue is rolling he has whipped pass plus and he has power shot so the play style pluses are not crazy but the play styles are actually pretty decent he has trickster player rapid trivella what is this passing pinched pass he has tiki taka he has power shot so play styles i am happy with play style plus is not a big fan of it but yeah it is what it is now let us actually look at what we need to do to complete this SBC. So you need to complete two squad builds. Uh, if you guys are finding the webcam a bit odd, yes, it's because the lighting is very bad right now. I am recording at night time. It's almost midnight. So hope you guys don't mind it. So yeah, coming back to this SBC, two squad builds, an 84 and a team of the season or a team of the week card and an 87 and a Syria player. So if you guys are going to do the first one you can you can use live torch you can use red torch all those torch are there which can be used so if you have lower rated players in live torch or in red torch which is the champion torch or whatever it's called you can use them no worries it is get counted and yeah let me just finish this squad build and then we'll put him in a team and see how he is in game so now you guys can see i put him in the squad so he has got plus two chemistry now out of plus out of three has got two right so you guys can see some of the stats are getting plus two like uh, sprint speed is gone from 98 to 99 short power has gone from 94 to 96 and there's um where is that volley has gone to 93 and uh, just like that some of the stats have increased uh, i thought his long shot will increase but it is okay we're not going to be trying long shots anyway we're going to usually most probably use his curve and his short power and try to give a curve and see how it is how it is we're gonna start him off with the right back position and then we'll move him to right wing just to see how it is we're gonna just 
do quick comparisons in both positions because he does have good defensive stats and he does have good attacking stats so it just makes uh, sense to just swap him with uh, Lucas Vasquez who is also a very good right back and a right winger so I thought okay I'll just have those two people in the in, the, in those right uh, you know right side of the field and just walk, swap them and it'll be like a small comparison between them and it'll be like we can you know see how uh, Timothy is in game as well because both of them are 93 rated both of them are really really good cards as well on paper and Lucas Vasquez is in, insane in game so I just want to see how uh, Timothy does in comparison to Lucas Vasquez so yeah actually let's get into the game Okay, his pace is really good. I ignore the time. Every time I take players in the right hand side, right, they go towards the line a bit too much because my controller is bad. So far, his pace is good. His ball control is actually been decent. Now, I am not very good when it comes to what do you say, skill moves. So, yeah, oh my god, Timothy, I took him to the left wing. But yeah, so far, like we played for 9 minutes of in-game time, he has good pace, he has good ball control, he does have a good bit of dribbling as well, you know, we have not really tested him out, but we will do that right now. Look at that, he was able to, hey, don't go there man. You know what? He has really good speed, guys. He has really good speed. Like 97 pace is really, really true to the stats. He's able to do a bit of skills, you know. Like ball control is also really good. Like if I don't do stupid run-ins like that, his ball control is really good, and his uh, what do you say? Composure is really good as well. He's really rapid, like that is one crazy part uh, in a left back or a uh, uh, fall backs or wingers. Pace is really important, dribbling is really important. Dribbling seems to be really good. Uh, crossing also is actually pretty decent, you know. Cro crossing is also, I'm actually happy with the crossing. If I can do this much crossing, I think I'll be more than happy, guys. Like, look at the dribbling, he's able to dribble really well, and the Trivella, oh. I didn't even want to do Trivella, but he did kind of a small Trivella kind of vibe was there. Now, we've not yet caught him in the right back position where I put him to kind of, uh, you know. Okay, wait, we've lost the ball. Oh. Can I, score a, can I score a free kick on video? Okay, I pressed lob pass instead of shooting. Nice. Okay, okay guys, hear me out. My laptop crashed. We, I am not going to actually go and play another game. I will tell you guys what has happened. So we were playing, you guys saw the last clip, right? Where we were playing for around 20-25 minutes of in-game time and I was telling you how he was, how good he was at the right back position. Now, I played him at the right wing position and pretty much the same thing, you know. Good pace, good crossing. Shooting is a bit concerning. Short par is a bit short par is good. Long shot and crossing is bad. So those two says 89, 88 uh, respectively. But those feel like they are almost like in the lower 80. You know. So except for the shooting aspect of the thing, short par is really good. Like the rapidness of the ball after it leaves his feet is insane. But but when it comes to curve. And when it comes to uh, long shot, it's not that great. So I, I would say, cross is really good. Pace, amazing. Dribbling, insane. Agility, insane. Stand tackle, amazing. Slide tackle, I have not done yet, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know how many of you guys rely on slide tackle. I don't because I like, I mean, yeah, you guys can't see that footage because that has been corrupted because my laptop crashed while I was recording. But I kind of slid in one place with Lucas Vasquez when I put him in right back and I got a yellow card instantly. So I am not very good with slight tackles. But apart from that, I would say the Timothy Vea card is actually pretty good. You guys can definitely 
go ahead and complete that card if you are in search for a good right back or a good right wing left back i would say there are better cards out there for a left back because there are a number of players who can play a really good left back and right back or right wing he's actually pretty decent guys so is it worth spending a 90 84 rated team and an 87 rated team now see i am not a person who sits and do, does all the calculation and stuff i play get the game for vibes i love football even though i <coughs> i hate i hate eafc 24 like i'm pretty sure everybody who's playing this game hates the game because of its very bad servers but we all love football that's the reason we are sitting and playing this game for hours and hours and hours and we sit and watch the game for hours and hours now as i'm recording i am actually watching turkey versus portugal and it's insane i'm recording and watching the match so this is how much i love football so i thought okay why not put him timothy via is a well known player now i don't know how many of you guys know about him is a well known player so i thought okay let's do the sbc put him in a game and see how he is he's pretty decent at the right uh, right wing right back position you guys would enjoy him if you guys are more of the winning mentality and if you guys are like no i have to win games i don't care about vibes maybe he's not the guy for you maybe there there are players who are a bit better than him and who might help you win games so you guys can skip this uh, sbc and wait for a better one but for those who don't have high rated players for those who want a bit better player like build a squad you know you guys can go into this timothy card he is really good 84 and 87 i think it is pretty reasonable not gonna lie everybody is gonna op- be opening packs at this time it is the end of Ju- june guys it is the end of june i am pretty sure at least 90% of you guys would have had at least a bunch of order lying in your club which you can spend on this card So if you guys want a better right back or a better right wing you guys can try him out if you guys are not satisfied with this video there might there are definitely a bunch of videos on him i'm pretty sure out in the youtube so you guys can check those videos out as well and go ahead with the decision but yeah i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video which is going to be another underrated player like timothy weya as well that's going to be the objective player for make your mark team 2 which was released recently So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe, stay motivated, and keep smiling, guys. Bye-bye.